Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here. We are starting a... This isn't really going to be a series, this is more of a special here. Uh, first thing we want to do is actually turn down the uh, music volume, because this is quite loud. Um, apparently it isn't exactly reflected immediately upon clicking on it. There we are, okay. Hopefully you can hear me better now. So what this is, is actually not a game. This is something on Steam I saw today called Anarchy Arcade. Uh, basically, it's like a virtual reality user interface for your computer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click play here. And we can uh, hopefully show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it actually puts you into you know, a virtual reality world like this. This is the tutorial that uh, shows you how to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to click right here with our middle mouse button. We're just going to select a picture of my wife and I. And that's actually kind of stretched it out in quite a weird way. Because that's a tall picture, not a uh, long, wide picture. Right. Not exactly flattering the way it did it there. Okay. I wonder if there's, well, it's a little late to go back and see if there's an option to change it. Surely there's. Okay, maybe because it uh, already outlined it with the uh, green lines. I think once you're actually in the real program and you add a picture, say, like that, it uh, it's actually going to look like it's supposed to and not be stretched out like that. I think it's just because this is the tutorial. So, all right, right here we have... Alt-Tab to switch to Chrome. Uh, copy URL into the... Uh, I'll copy the URL to an internet image. Alt-Tab back to Arcade. Uh, middle click here and paste the image URL into the yellow box. Okay, so we're going to Alt-Tab real quick. I'm not going to go to Chrome. I'm going to go to Firefox. You probably can't actually see what I'm doing here. So... What I am doing right now is actually getting an image. I'm not really sure what you're seeing. Probably a blank screen. Go ahead and find us a little picture here real quick. Um, this will do fine. Save the image. Copy the link. Now we're coming back in here. All right, we're going to middle click. Paste the link to the image, and it didn't like that. Okay, let's try it again. I guess we're going to have to pick something else. Okay, we've copied the image location here. Let's try that. No, it doesn't like it. Okay, we're going to have to do something else. Um... How about this one? Okay, this is an actual JPEG. Uh, I have no doubt this one is going to work. All right. Again, it kind of stretched it out in a funny way. It didn't let it actually take the correct shape and form, but... All right. Okay, here we are going to left-click the screen to select it. Hold the rice mount mouse button for a virtual cursor, move the cursor, left click while holding down the right mouse for a virtual click. Okay. Now we're going to hold down, okay, so now we have our virtual cursor. This way you can maybe operate uh, perhaps Google Chrome or YouTube or something inside of the virtual world. Each 3D object in Arcade is a shortcut. And just like a desktop shortcut, they launch something on your PC or on the Internet. Each shortcut has an interactive screen. Use it to customize the cabinet or interact with it in its uh, in-game preview. All right, so now we have opened the door here. We have another little tutorial part. Okay, so now we're going to get a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and 
I'll tab out real quick. We're going to go to YouTube. We'll uh, run to my YouTube channel. Actually, go to Lucky7. Um, let's do this one. Come back. Now then, gonna middle mouse click, paste, and we see our YouTube video. Uh, this would be my other channel, not my psychotic gamer channel, but my uh, Lucky Seven channel. All right. Apparently, we come over here, middle click that screen. Choose move. Look where you want. Okay. All right. So if we do that, click move, and we can put it here. Interesting. Okay. All right. You now have three shortcuts in your library. Spawn all three in this room. Middle click on the blank space to open your library browser. Choose a shortcut to spawn. Look where you want and then left click. All right, so. Click OK, we'll place that there. Get the uh, picture of my wife and I. Right there, and uh, put our X Men picture right there. Uh oh, I think we're crashing. No, we just had a bit of a stutter. Okay, now then, left click the screen to select it, hold the right mouse button down for a virtual. What? I've already done this. Um. Okay, you launch a arcade when you start your PC, and you leave it open all day long. It pauses in the background, so it doesn't hurt performance or make your games lag. As you launch stuff during the day, spawn shortcuts to those things into Anarchy Arcade. When your 3D desktop gets cluttered, spend some time organizing and decorating it. Be sure to launch and play stuff in your arcades. Each one is hours of fun. All right, so we've opened the door, and we go out into space here, and we're loading the Anarchy Arcade here. Okay, so I don't want to return to that. Let's do play. Uh, what we're gonna do is a custom, because I think if we do play, it's just going to go back. So it gives you all these options here to basically create your 3D world. So we've got learn base. Okay. We have an apartment. Uh, we have an apartment suite. We have E3 packs, a garage, hub floors, whatever that is, hub high rise, hub walls, learn basic. All right, we got a nightclub, orchard house, party cabin, or strange theater. Hmm. I think I either want E3 packs or the nightclub. Let's do this one. Okay, play this map in single player mode to build your 3D desktop on it. When in game, middle click and choose browse to spawn a new shortcut. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load this. I don't know if it comes preloaded with stuff or not. It looks like it does not. And discovered by. I don't know what this discovered by is. All right, so basically you walk around here in your 3D world. And uh, you can place different things that you have. Uh, let's see if we can place a Steam game here. All right. What do we want? Let's see if we can find a uh, Mountain Blade Warband. 
All right, Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest. Okay. Supposedly, you can cycle cabinets. Um. Hmm. Let's delete that. I want to change the, uh, Okay, I'm supposed to cycle the cabinets and you can kind of change how it looks. But, uh, honestly, the buttons I'm hitting are not doing anything. Uh, I was rolling my mouse wheel or scrolling it. Uh, well, that does cause it to zoom in and out so it should change the cabinet hmm why does that not work let's try a different one here like AI fleet command That doesn't work. Hmm. All right, let's uh go into options here. I don't know if it's going to be arcade options or something else. This would probably be a good thing to show you anyways. I've been scrolling my mouse wheel to try to change the type of cabinet that we have. Uh, basically, what you saw there was like a TV, but you can change it and make it look like, uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, problem is, that's not working. Let's go to game options. I don't know if it's because I changed move forward and backwards to up and down. And maybe I'm supposed to hit up and down to change the cabinet. If there is something physics gun, hmm, toggle console. I'm not saying anything about changing the cabinet. Audio, video, voice. Alas, we are failing, failing miserably. What's under advanced? Enable developer console? No. Hmm. You know what? Let's try a different, a different area. Let's do custom game. Let's just go into the apartment here. Click on any of the items for more info. Table, chair, couch. Amazing! Simply amazing! This doesn't look like an apartment to me. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. Play. Custom game. Single player. Ah, yes. I must have hit cancel or something instead. Okay, now, here is what we were seeing. Press C to collect your reward. Ah, so I just started out with the wrong one. I should not have started out with the E3 packs thing here. Okay, donation rewards. Last month saw some great requested features get into the public builds, such as multiple videos playing at the same time and Steam stats and achievements. Anybody who donates in the month of February will receive these two 
awesome cabinets, and a dance pad prop. Thank you for your continued support. So the game's actually uh, free, but yeah, I guess it's got donation rewards in there, which, yeah, that's cool. Okay, how to survive. Oh, so it just automatically changed some of this stuff to uh, games that I have in my Steam. This has all happened completely automatically. We have Portal. <laughs> so this is, that's pretty cool. It did this all by itself. We have, uh, huh. apparently those are not actually games that you can play, but it, it just kind of uh, used some games that I have on my Steam account as uh, like decorations and stuff, which is pretty neat. And we have, uh, what is that, Left 4 Dead? Please stand by, that's the Fallout sign. A Monkey Island Special Edition. I'm really digging this. We have two worlds here. So, if I was to click that again, I think it would actually load two worlds. Although I haven't completely finished installing it. So, I'd probably have to sit around and wait for it to do that. Here we have some artwork from Monkey Island. Uh, this is pretty darn cool right here, to be perfectly honest. There's some artwork from Alien vs. Predator here. Yeah. What is that? That must be... That's like Fallout 2. They don't actually have any custom... Well, no, they do have some custom artwork there. It might be Fallout Tactics. I don't know. Looks more like Fallout 2. So let's see if we can... Oh, we have space engineers. <laughs> I'm digging this. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can place something new here. Let's try the uh, Mountain Blade Viking Conquest again. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is actually, maybe I wasn't placing the game. Maybe I'm just placing the uh, Steam video. Let's, uh, holy crap. It changed all the TVs to do it. Huh. Okay. Type. I want apps. I don't think this is actually apps, but uh. Surely it's not just showing me uh, a whole bunch of videos. Okay, you know what? We're going to click on this. Okay, so it's uh enlarged it. Custom made smartcade. What is that? Okay, that's a link to the video. Uh if suddenly uh you've kind of lost me here and you can't see this, I apologize, but it's uh Okay, so if we click right there it will actually load a Mountain Blade Warband. I wonder if we can click on this and perhaps edit the item. Conquest of Elysium. No. Hmm. Total value plus 159 points. Unfortunately, we're having a tad bit of difficulty finding out how to place a different type of object. The only thing I know for sure 
is scrolling up and down isn't really changing the uh, type of cabinet as it is supposed to do. Can I put this stuff on the ceiling? That'd be kind of cool. Kind of don't have any more places to put stuff. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave this spot here. We're going to go and check out one more area. We'll go to custom game again. Let's go to the apartment suite. Uh, play this map in single player to build. Uh, maybe this will unlock some new stuff for me, perhaps? Maybe we actually have to unlock the new cabinet types. A node graph out of date. Okay. Try Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Again, it ain't doing anything for me here. I'm pressing the up and down arrows. I'm scrolling my mouse wheel. Uh, it's all I can really think to do, to be perfectly honest. Um, nothing is changing the type of cabinet I've got. My changes have been saved. Well, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and end our video here. We'll do a little bit of research and uh, see if we can figure out what the dealio is and why we can't change our cabinet types here. And uh, I'll go ahead and once I figure that out, if we do indeed figure it out, I'm sure we will, should just take a little bit of a Google search. And uh, I'll go ahead and set up an apartment or something to uh, be a pretty cool little game room, and I'll come back and show you guys what we've created. And uh, that'll be that. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe and like if you. Enjoy our videos, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.